In this video, we're going to be talking about media literacy, and more specifically, what media literacy is and why it's important to the larger picture of understanding the past, present, and future conditions of African Americans. Hopefully, at the end of the video, we'll agree on the importance of media literacy and see that without it, we are no better than sheep being led to a slaughter. So let's start by answering the most important question. What is media literacy? According to the National Association for Media Literacy Education, media literacy is the ability to access, analyze, evaluate, create, and act using all forms of communication. Media literacy represent a necessary, inevitable, and realistic response to the complex, ever-changing electronic environment and communication cornucopia that surround us. Whew, that's a mouthful. Okay, what does that mean? Let's just simplify that by breaking it down to its base words. Media is basically anything that conveys a message. It can be something as simple as a piece of paper in the fortune cookie to the most high concept movie that ever came out of Hollywood. The main requirement for something to be considered a form of media is that a message or deeper meaning can be seen by analyzing that thing. Literacy is a simple one in this context. It pretty much means being able to comprehend or understand the things you see and hear, and in some cases the things you touch if you happen to be visually impaired. So if you put all that together, media literacy means being able to fully understand the things you see, hear, and touch in the world around you. Now some people out there might be thinking, don't insult my intelligence, sir. I understand the things in the world very well, thank you. And I'm inclined to agree with those people up to a point. That agreement ends at the moment when the truth of what we're exposed to on a daily basis is revealed. A lot of people believe that eventually, the masses will pick up torches, bats, and pitchforks and burn down the media industry if someday the truth were to come out. Until that day comes, we'll just have to keep chipping away at it piece by piece. A large percentage of us understand what's going on in the world around us, but that understanding is usually limited to the surface of what's being observed. What do I mean by surface? The very nature of what media is means that a message is being transmitted. It could be through a book, newspaper article, news broadcast, television show, painting, music video, magazine, Facebook post, etc., etc. But at the very bottom of all this, it's all about persuasion. The person that created the message is ultimately trying to persuade you to think one way or believe something. That's it. This is what media literacy is about. Even in this video, I'm trying to convince you why media literacy is important. My goal, if I'm persuasive enough, is that you will come to believe media literacy is the most important thing next to love and happiness. Now there's usually many layers of messages behind the persuasion in media, but usually we only understand the top layer of that message, the surface. Without media literacy, the other layers go into our minds unchecked, shaping our thoughts, worldviews, biases, and self-image. With the amount of media humans have generated since the very first cave drawings, it'll take multiple lifetimes to analyze and break down all the layers of meaning behind these various forms of media. So for the sake of time, we'll use one of the most popular forms of media in existence, television commercials. By analyzing a few commercials, we should get a glimpse of the fundamentals of media and how it's created with all these layers to ultimately send a message to our conscious and subconscious minds. It's well known that the advertising industry is a multi-billion dollar business that connects manufacturers with the consumers, and they wouldn't be so successful if they didn't know what they were doing. Advertisers use many techniques in their approach to persuade us to buy whatever it is they're selling. These techniques can be categorized in various ways, but three of the most common ways are through logical appeals, emotional appeals, and ethical appeals. In today's commercial market, we can find many overlaps in these techniques, so we'll talk about them individually, but we'll also point out other techniques as they appear. 
so check out the other videos in this series as we delve deeper into each technique by breaking down certain commercials and seeing what makes them work. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you can get notifications for new videos as they drop.